one rules as opposed to Muay Thai. We featured no clinching or elbows and when a leg kick, so only to hold one and one punch or kick back. That's right, and that keeps the action much, more, much faster flowing. Um, uh, means that uh, you don't get uh, stuck in the clinch so much and uh, the guys have to keep on fighting their way out. Absolutely. Fighting out the Bulamai Bremen, Xi'an Tua. Ready. Sein Gegenüber in der roten Ecke, 22 Jahre alt, 1,72 Meter groß, gewogen mit 68,6 Kilogramm. Er wird heute Abend betreut durch Thomas Türkau und sein Kampfrekord, 24 Kämpfe, 18 Siege, einer davon durch Knockout. Now, it's very hard to tell though, Julian, usually, even when they're obviously physically from looking at them. <laughs> even the match, when we will see after the first round begins. Yeah. Obviously, the main, the main focus is obviously coming forward, pulling forward, not stepping back and retreating. That's right, they want to keep on pressing forward and K1 keeps it much, uh, you know, the pace is much quicker. And uh, it, it, it makes more for a much more interesting and exciting fight. Definitely, definitely for the viewers and for the audience, yes. So this is a uh, fighting at Days of, uh, Days of Destruction 7 here in uh, Hamburg. And this is an event that's been uh, developed by Siam Store. And it's increasing in popularity. And it is becoming one of the number one premier events in uh, Germany. Here we go. So we're starting off a low kick. In the red corner with Kim. Just going straight for it. Yeah, nice counter there. Taking a good leg kick there. Yep, yeah, he's doing good leg Oh, knees. They're both going in quite strong. Yeah, coming forward quite heavy. Mm. He's not getting his knees in so much. I mean, there is a reach advantage as well. And uh, he should be able to, if he uses... Uh, uses his reach, uh, keeps his opponent at bay, but then that also opens him up to kicking range as well. So, you know, it's a case of being moving on your feet all the time. Well, it's interesting to see actually, and usually on the first first round, obviously they're usually trying to suss each other out. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the fundamental reasons for the uh, differences between Muay Thai and uh, K1 is mm. that in the Muay Thai you've got a little bit more time to settle into the fight and feel your opponent out, get your distance, engage your power and timing and so forth. But in K1, you're with going to be straight in there. With only three rounds. Yeah. 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 Already the leg's starting to show some red marks for some good uh, thigh kicking there. He's good, actually. Kim's very, very, uh, very focused on his low kicks and his uh, kicks to the thighs. Yeah. You see. Well, if you look at the difference between Kim and the uh, and Sian, uh, uh, mm. you know the uh, the difference in the uh, the density and thickness of Kim's legs really mm. will start to show from the power. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah, you uh, see, he's, he's getting him already. Yeah, he's, he's already getting. starting to break that. And once you start breaking, taking the taking the steam out of those legs, it's really hard to keep going. You know, once you've had some really good inside and outside tie kicks to the, from the shin, it's just, you know, devastating. In fact, if Kim can keep focused on this, on his legs and his inner thighs, as you say. Yeah, yeah. Nice knee to the body there already. Yeah. Uh, see how uh, starting to show some redness to the ribs there, where he's been taking some punishment and pounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, another good. great leg kick there. <laughs> yeah. Really starting to look sore now. He's showing the stronger of the two is Kim Robin then. Mm -hmm. He uh, you know, he he's he's dominating and pressing forward oh, much, much good. more. Yeah. And there we go, see a classic example of the K one breaking out of the clinch mm. and trying to keep the action going. Ooh. Oh nice there check with the knee. Slip there. Oh that was a good knee. Yeah, yeah, really he we could really fit hear that landing from here. Oh, look, he's in a thigh now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's really, I mean, that's starting to welt up and show some blood through the skin as well. So, I mean, he's taking some, some heavy kicks there. Uh, 10 seconds then for the end of round one. And each, uh, for this round, each uh, round is uh, three minutes. Yeah. Good. Round two. Round two. Yeah, straight in with a yep. leg kick there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's down, chin yep. down. It's up again. 
not too much blocking going on actually. He's not blocking the when he's getting the, when the. Uh, he's not checking him, is he? No. no. Uh, See, he's yeah, just going to get him dead legs. That's it. Yep. Yeah. That's he's going. Really he's going for the punch. Yeah. Okay. So standing count of eight. Five. Good. That's oh. ten. Has been counted. Now back on. So he'll. Uh, that would be deducted from his scorecard there. And he's going to go for the legs. Yeah. Go for the legs. Right under us. Yeah, he's allowing, him to stay, allowing himself to stay in too close. You know, it's not, use, not using or working his reach. It's not, and he's not blocking. No, no. So anything's going wrong, look. Yeah. I mean, Kim certainly looks the better conditioned fighter of Absolutely. the two. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's That's gone it. down, That's and he's it. down. That's and it. Chen's down. Yeah, oh. I mean, I think they'll take that. As, uh, his legs have gone. Yeah. That'll be the TKO then. Eight. I don't think he can continue from that. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, he's out.